What's up guys, welcome back to Savage Royale. Today, two of the greatest celebrities in the world are going to fight it out together. So before we get to it, please like, please subscribe, and uh, let's get to it. So for the Democrats, their candidate is uh, Mr. Beast. Of course, uh, I couldn't really get his mustache, I'm not that good at design. So uh, let's take a look at him. So uh, stamina, he's active. Unfortunately, he's kind of a cold fish when it comes to charisma. Intelligence, slow, media bias, indifferent, experience, little, but his strengths are with the minority appeal and starting money, he's a tycoon. And uh, he just loves to give away free stuff, so of course he has the ideology Yang Singularity. On the Republican side is, of course, PewDiePie! Now he has the ideology G Trumpian Populism. And, uh, well, he's from California, I know that he's actually he's Swedish, but I don't really know if he lives in the US or in a certain state. So anyway, he's from California. Stamina, he's active. He, ha he is magnetic, he's very charismatic. He is smart. He is hated by the media, especially in his home country of uh, Sweden. He is definitely an outsider, he has no or little minority appeal, and he has average starting money, though he is rich. Uh, I probably could have made him richer, but uh, anyway. So uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. And here we go. So uh, PewDiePie immediately goes to Texas and sets up a HQ, and then he goes to Florida. Ah, uh, Mr. Beast also goes to Florida, and PewDiePie PewDiePie goes to Ohio and to Georgia. And you can see that the campaign headquarters are being set up in the big swing states. So we have PewDiePie chilling out in Ohio and Mr. Beast up in New York, which he will probably win and do not need to work for. Both chilling out in Michigan at the moment. You can see that um, Mr. Beast, he has actually a, a newspaper coverage up in Michigan. I mean, he should do really well there because he is so great for the auto industry. I mean, he just buys all the cars and then gives them away. That's really good for business. And PewDiePie throws his full support behind building the wall. And Mr. Beast renewable energy. And PewDiePie deporting illegal aliens. Now all of these ideologies are just popping up. And both Texas and Georgia are now very deep dark blood red. But California, California was purple until Mr. Beast decided to return. And he now supports nuclear power. And PewDiePie selective immigration. Okay, so California, it's only an eight point leader for the Democrats. I mean, PewDiePie could overcome that, but it won't be easy. Mr. Beast really has the advantage over here. I mean, he has Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Florida, a lot of the important swing states. And PewDiePie just turned Florida into a battleground state. He has a lot of established stuff here. Newspapers and, of course, his campaign HQ. And we have the running mates. Let's take a look at this now. So, on the Republican side, PewDiePie's running mate is Mitch McConnell. Yeah one of the most hated senators in America. We have Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I mean, she also likes to give stuff away, so I mean, they're a fantastic combination. And if you look at the polls, uh, actually, Mr. Beast has kind of a lead. He has uh, three points. Now he just had two, so it's a bit going up and down. But a three-point lead for Mr. Beast. But the map is shaping up to be a real nail-biter. Yes, the Democrats have managed to somehow take Kentucky, but uh, with Florida and Michigan being swing states, uh, Wisconsin being red, Arizona just went a bit gray. Uh, I think it was it was red. So this is going to be very exciting. And both of the Republicans are in Mitch's home state of Kentucky, and the Rust Belt is just littered with newspapers and campaign HQs. Government Giga Solar Arrays. Okay. I don't really know. Uh, I bet that believes he, that means he believes in solar energy. And again, Mr. Beast is putting himself as the front runner. He is back in control of Florida. Still has North Carolina, his home state. Still has Pennsylvania, where he has a 13-point lead now. And he still has the swing state of Nevada, 10-point lead in Nevada. And they'll also leads in some of these other western states. So PewDiePie, you gotta work! You gotta uh, lock down Florida, come on! So PewDiePie has actually narrowed it, now Mr. Beast is only leading by one point. And there's four weeks left. Now three weeks left. But Mass- Oh! Massachusetts is purple. 
if that is purple, it's very bad for the Democrats, but I think that they have enough of the states locked down. But the Republicans, uh, with Mr. PewDiePie now going full support behind America first, he has locked down most of the South. The exceptions being Florida, North Carolina, and Virginia, which is leaning his way. Virginia seems to be a PewDiePie state. Or Election night. Maine is red, and Massachusetts is red. PewDiePie just came back very strong there. And he wins Virginia, not North Carolina, of course, but we all want to know Florida. Oh, Florida's red. PewDiePie is looking really good right now. And Ohio. And of course, these deep south states. Uh, Michigan? Yes, PewDiePie wins Michigan. I mean, PewDiePie is the definite frontrunner right now. He loses Wisconsin, that was a surprise. But he wins Missouri, he does not win Iowa or Minnesota. Oh, I still think PewDiePie is going to win. I mean, Texas, yeah. Yeah, PewDiePie is going to win, no doubt about it. It's narrow. It is quite narrow. And Mr. Beast, he put up a good fight, but the real king of YouTube is still PewDiePie! And Mr. Beast is defeated. I mean, he should have chosen a better running mate, to be honest. No, they agreed mostly with Mr. Beast on uh, the legal alien issue. Building the wall, few, quite a big chunk of people like that too. Solar arrays, they were really not that popular. I mean, people went for PewDiePie on that. And if we look at the map here, you see that it's... With a few exceptions, it's a quite typical map. I mean, the West is very, very typical. Uh, it is quite weird that uh, the Republicans win Massachusetts in anything else than the governor's race. And it is also surprising that while winning Virginia, the Republicans lose North Carolina, but of course that is mostly because Mr. Beast is from North Carolina. That's it for me today, guys. Please like this video down below and please subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.